so public economics uh, and welfare economics you might have learned this welfare economics in macroeconomic part also if uh, there is the demand and supply curve this supply and this belongs to demand then this is the equilibrium price then this part belongs to the consumer surplus and this part belongs to the producer surplus the quantity so this total part consumer surplus plus producer surplus makes the total welfare for the society but when it comes to public economics there comes the third agent government so government put taxes and there is some tax surplus so public economic any kind of surplus whether it is consumer surplus producer surplus or government tax surplus is a welfare enhancing that's the only slight difference then comes to the concept of uh, welfare or uh, what is welfare actually uh, for the simple city we are uh, taking the utility as individual centric that means uh, in a competitive economy utility of an individual totally depends on consumption of goods or services what he is consuming irrespective of what he consumption his neighbors are consuming or but in reality if your neighbor becomes alcoholic then your utility will come down but uh, that's the gross uh, consumption here we are simply assuming the its own individual centric Uh, utility and social welfare function so what is social welfare function suppose in a society there are m individuals are living then social welfare function w will be a function of their individual utility u a u b and up to u n so these all utilities are independent variable for the purpose of our welfare function so government motive is to make this welfare function pareto optimal level so how can government do that uh, we will see that but what is pareto optimal point pareto optimal point you already know from the macroeconomic part pareto optimal is a position from where it is impossible to make any further pareto efficient move and what is pareto efficient move means it means it is impossible to make any person a person better off without making another individual worse off that means that any individual we cannot make any further better or without reducing the utility of another person we will see that uh, through this graph on x axis there is the utility of a and on y axis there is the utility of b and there are two social indifference curve are given sic 0 and sic 1 uh, there are some points point a b and point c are given now we have to analyze what is the um, width which point is better like comparison between point a and b then b and c and then a and c which point is better for society as point b and c are on the same indifference curve that means uh, society is indifference between them they both are equal for the society point of view and uh, uh, maybe the society judgment criteria they both are equal now so given point a and point b if we go from point a to b it is not changing the utility of a utility of a is same at u a star and but it is increasing the utility of b from if we go from point a to b then we are increasing the utility of b so by definition this is a pareto efficient move because as per the definition it is increasing the utility of b without reducing the utility of a so definitely point b is greater than point a and b and c are same or indifference that means point c is greater than point a so now we will look into some of the social welfare functions forms first is the utilitarian form it gives the equal weightage to each individual whether it, he is rich or poor or doesn't matter it is giving equal weightage so simply the welfare of the society will be just the summation of all individuals utility so the social indifference curve will be the straight line of 45 degree angle and on x axis if we consider utility of a so even if a point here or a point here or a point here they both are same for the society because the total utility the summation of utility will be same at this indifference curve any point where at this point all utility belongs to a and b is getting zero utility and opposite is there 
but for society point of view total welfare is same so this is the social indifference curve there might be another social indifference curve there might be another social indifference curve but uh, social indifference curve is a straight line then comes the skitowski bergson social welfare function okay this gives an interesting view if there is a redistribution in society from that redistribution gainers should gain more than what the losers are losing this suppose there is two individuals a and b a is losing one unit of utility that means b should get more than what a is losing that means b should get two unit three unit or it should be greater than definitely one unit of utility the argument support that the income from rich people should be given and redistributed to the poor uh, people because suppose there is a thousand rupees so for a billionaire thousand rupees doesn't matter matter that much but for a poor people thousand rupees means uh, the grocery or ration for the whole month so utility what the poor people will drive from that thousand rupees is far far greater than what utility the billionaire or millionaire will lose from that thousand rupees the graph will be similar to what we have seen earlier we move from point a to point b dash slightly here in that case we are losing the utility for a slightly but we are gaining the the utility for b more than what a is losing so that means this redistribution as per skitowski bergson this is okay for society point of view then comes the rolsian social welfare function this is an extreme view it says that the society's welfare totally depends on the welfare of the worst of section worst of individual poorest of the poor it means the w is a fun function like it will be the minimum welfare who is the poorest a or b whoever has the minimum utility his welfare is the society's welfare this, so we can understand this with through this graph if the initial level is point a where the utility of b is this and utility of a is this much if we are increasing the utility of b without changing the utility of a which is now poor comparative to b but now in second step if we increase the utility of a which which is poor comparative to b then we are moving at this point so this will be the another social indifference curve so only by increasing the utility of poor person we are increasing the welfare for the society these else will be the social indifference curve for the society so this was the rolsian social welfare function and uh, just a recap skitowski bergson social welfare function is that gainers should gain more than what the loser is losing in utility terms and then there was this utilitarian social welfare function which, which was just the summation of individual utility so that's it for this video see you in the next video